What is the number of trailing zeros in 100 factorial? Pause this video and try to figure it out. Let's see how we can calculate the number of trailing zeros in the factorial of a number. The answer to this problem is 24, that is, there are 24 zeros trailing in 100 factorial. A trailing zero is formed when we multiply a multiple of 5 with a multiple of 2. So each pair of 2 and 5 will cause a trailing zero. Now all we have to do is count the number of pairs of 5s and 2s in the multiplication. This will give us the total number of trailing zeros. Let's count the number of 5s first. 5 occurs in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and so on 100. This makes a total of 25s. The numbers 25, 50, 75, and 100 consist of two 5s each. So we have to count them twice. This makes the grand total 24. We can write the formula to calculate the total number of 5s as 100 divided by 5 plus 100 divided by 5 square plus 100 divided by 5 cube and so on. The brackets implies greatest integer function, that is, we consider the integer part of each term in this sum. So this equals 20 plus 4 plus 0 which equals 24. Now let's count the number of 2s. 2 occurs in 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. This makes a total of 50 2s. The multiples of 4 consist of 2 2s. So, we have to count them again. They are 25 in number. The multiples of 8 consist of 3 2s. So, we have to count them once more. They are 12 in number. The number of 2s equals 100 divided by 2, plus 100 divided by 2 square, plus 100 divided by 2 cube, and so on. The brackets implies greatest integer function. This equals 50, plus 25, plus 12, plus 6, plus 3, plus 1, plus 0, which equals 97. So the number of 5s equals 24 and the number of 2s equals 97. This implies there are only 24 pairs of 2s and 5s. Since each pair cause one trailing zero, the total number of trailing zeros in 100 factorial equals 24. In fact, to calculate the number of trailing zeros in a factorial, we can only count the number of 5s because it equals the number of pairs of 5s and 2s in the multiplication.